and the bay a kedepen moon. I seem can quench the asalo. I see no bossing kata drena in amma. I had the cage in the chada of Guabo. Or try to attack where I did it. Isa, 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 Edicosi, a moon name, a father of Eastern News twenty four, guys, when I would turn your bunukozi, Dio Kempa. A prefable bastamaki in a mina, Eastern Dijon. I know Nimia, and a bastamaki phenomena the Hona and Jidia. I know Nimia. And also, but stomach and one over in the bonazo near Rapuko. Eddie Cosidi, I will hear update. I will tell Bruno. Look update. I have to come get a beef. Mac again, I have to hear come on. Need no more. I have to hear come on. 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 I have to So you can see a beef. I drop all your own comment. Near Rapuko, if you tell no link again. Police, basta maki yenda ijegi no boa. All right, over to you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Something is brewing in Nigeria, and that is an attempt to go back to regional government. I saw a document suggesting that we should have a single term of six years for the presidency and another proposal for nine regions and then um, all kinds of suggestions are coming into the nigerian political scene through the back door like as i always introduce myself i've been a medical doctor for 40 years i was born before independence and i witnessed a lot of the changes the activities that took place in nigeria from 1966 till date 1966 i was already listening to radio understanding what was happening and in a few years from then i was already reading 1967 i was already reading newspapers so I could understand what was happening. Now, the problem with this country, and I beg you listen patiently, is that there is contention rather than complementing one another. There is crave to share the national cake but there is no attempt for collective baking of the national cake. In this country, the regions, um, tribes, parties, and religion, has, they have torn us apart rather than bringing us together. And we end up bringing the least qualified our third teams to come and play at the national level as long as they have money politics in nigeria has become too tribalistic too corrupt because it is too rewarding and because it is too expensive and there is an aspect of governance in Nigeria that we have not looked at. The immunity clause that governors have makes them to be very, very irresponsible that they don't, they act with impunity and they are not responsible to those who, who so called elected them so i have proposed the following because the first thing is that the sense of unity and belonging in this country must be actualized this anthem that you are asking us to sing do tribe and tongue may the if in brotherhood we stand must become a reality uh, uh, Help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed. 
must become a reality and this is why I am proposing this. Presently, we have six geopolitical zones and we must build on these six geopolitical zones. Number one, let's have six presidential candidates emerge from the six zones. We now have a presidential council of six presidents from the six political zones. I think in Spain, they have something close to that. We have people from Barcelona, the Basque region, they have a president in the federal presidential council. We will design our own system. So we have six presidents, each from this zone. So we'll have one from South East, one from South South, one from South West, North Central, North East, North West. So the country is represented. The country is represented. And they will stay for 12 years instead of one man. Either stay for six years, the one that is being proposed, or the one of one man staying for eight years. And then this presidential council will have a presidential spokesman every two years. He will be the president of the country for two years. His duties will involve ceremonial activities while day-to-day -day governance is a collective responsibility of the six-man presidential council. What are the benefits of this? Number one, all regions of the country will be represented. Number two, nearly all religions will be represented. Number three, as it is being rotated within a space of 12 years, we will have had all segments of this country become president of this country. The next thing is that because collective decision will be taken, one man dictatorship, which we are seeing in this country, will not take place. One man cannot corner all portfolios and whatever to one tribe, one race, one region, like as Buhari did when he was in power. And so this six-man presidential council, they will share portfolios. Usually the portfolios that are very relevant in governance in Nigeria include the following petroleum um, works defense internal affairs finance and external affairs we can put the portfolio of external affairs under the man who is the presidential spokesman have and he will have a minister of state under him. Number two, these federal parties are too expensive to run and too contentious. And it brings a, a claustrophobic political sense because you just have a group of people constantly suffocating this nation. Let's have only regional parties Campaign in your region. Form your parties in your region. Don't come to other regions to campaign. And once the campaigns are in one region, the expenditure reduces. Number two, once the campaign is in one region, that region will want to bring out their best to represent them there. And so we will still have, we have two options. We want to still retain the national electoral body or we now have regional electoral bodies. If we have regional electoral bodies, the burden of their duty will be reduced. However, if we have a national electoral body that is impartial, the influence of 
regional powers will be quite diluted. For me, I would have preferred a national electoral body, not like Mahmoud Yakubu's INEC. That one was a great disappointment. And then, the process of electing these presidents from these areas should be staggered over a period of six months as transition so that the national electoral body will have time to prepare. The next thing is that the winner takes it all mentality of politics in Nigeria makes it a do or die affair. Let's make it in such a way that whoever comes second in the region will be a regional prime minister over the region. If it's the regional prime minister over the region, the contention for office will reduce. He's a regional prime minister. And then we now have governors in this regions who this regional prime minister coordinates with and then he brings his suggestions to the presidential council through his regional president the house of representatives should stay because it is representing the people as the name suggests the senate is no longer necessary because we now have a six-man presidential council representing the six geopolitical zones. The Senate is too expensive and is fast becoming an expensive old people's home where people who have received pension as senators, now receive pension as ministers, now receive, I mean receive pension as uh, governors, now receive pension as senators, after receiving pension in a federal ministry, the place is too expensive. And they just come down and make noise and even light, uh, sleep as if they are in a beer parlor. We scrap the Senate, use that money to manage the six man presidential council and the regional prime ministers. The regional prime ministers should be paid from their region. And this highest political office holder should not earn more than a vice chancellor should not earn more than a vice chancellor maybe only the president can earn more than a vice chancellor then they will feel the pain or the reality of the economy of our nation the next thing is that in the regions and in the states the elections should be conducted at the federal level by the National Electoral Commission. They should scrap state electoral commissions. They are agencies of oppression where the ruling party in the state wins all the elections. So if the federal electoral, if the national electoral body can contest, can supervise elections, for House of Assemblies, for members of House of Assemblies, Houses of Assemblies, which are only a few local, a few wards in some cases, and House of Representatives, a few local government councils. Local government chairmanship elections is bigger than House of Assembly elections. Therefore, the national electoral body should conduct elections at the state level for local government chairpersons and even councillors and there should be independent candidacy at the state levels and at the local government levels by doing this more people will be able to come into politics and then the quality of people we select from will improve today we are being fed with alternatives that are not really the best that we can choose from. With that, we will have broken the influence of tribalism from different regions trying to superimpose themselves on other regions. And then, if 
a person is representing a geopolitical zone in the presidency and he is not doing well, his zone can do a referendum and withdraw him and replace him with the person who came second in the election or do a fresh election to elect a president in that area. Remember, from that area, remember it is rotational. And as I've always suggested, I did a paper on local government, local government councils in Nigeria and economic development of the country. I presented a paper at the Delta State University when I was doing a master's degree there and I was the best student. I made 10 A's, best graduating student, 10 A's. I was 56 years old, so I know what I'm talking about. So let there be local government autonomy. Let the local government get their allocations directly from the Federal uh, Allocation Committee, FAAC or so. Now, the mineral resources of the regions should be explored by the regions because they suffer the brunt of environmental degradation and pollution. Now, a certain percentage should be contributed towards the federal government for the maintenance of the federal police and the armed forces and federal bodies. So we are decentralizing power. Instead of the federal government sending money to the local government or the state government, let there be a two-way traffic. The states are contributing. If you drink beer in your state, the VAT on beer will remain in your state. If you don't drink beer in your state, don't share from the vat of beer that people you consider as infidels are drinking. With this, you will see that the states will start competing to harness their resources and uh, they will not allow illegal mining, illegal logging, illegal uh, stealing of petroleum products. Listen, all um, I was listening to the Emir of Kano Sanusi. He said that if we sell the oil, all the oil we have and share the money, that the maximum we can get is $4,000 per capita and will still just become a medium, um, medium income country. And the whole budget of Nigeria, the dirty oil money, Somebody said it's not up to the budget of New York State with about 20 million people. Oil cannot make us rich. There are more mineral resources. More, OB was talking about agriculture in only Niger State. We will now see that the states will become more fruitful, more productive, more competitive, and more complementary in whatever they are doing. This is my suggestion. I pray you listen very carefully and then share this thing with others. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I have a seminar coming up on the 5th and on the 6th of July, a monthly masterclass, mentorship masterclass. To register, send a message to me on plus two three four seven zero. 52136763 and I will send you the details. I have properties for sale. I forgot to let you know that we will have federal police like the FBI. We have national army. We have a reserve reserve like in most nations. But we will have State regional police, state police, and local police. In that case, security will be able to spread around this country and regions will be responsible to a very large extent at the preliminary level 
to fight criminality, banditry, kidnapping, and all kinds of things that we have currently plaguing us. The national police, the national army will be for national issues, while the army will be predominantly for external defense. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Please remember that my seminar coming up on the 5th and on the 6th of July, our July mentorship class. The last one, we have 333 people come in for the webinar. It's online and they were from 26 countries of the world. We regularly send the edited live broadcast to our podcast to our listeners. I mean, those who registered from the different countries. Share this. It will be good for Nigeria. God bless you. And by a canopy moon, a de Kunusibe, Neso Ipolai, near the Mene Rabo, the Eastern is twenty four. I see one at Chukoka, be my own channel and of no four, a de Kunusibe, a Sura in Rabo, a de Kosi, the Una Nugunu, Kayabi face, where but a Wakuno, Una Nugunu, one Nayoka Puni Rabo, a Kifu, the Kuba Stamaka, Yabi and Dani Nugasi, Nine, one Nayokugasi. Uh, Bastamaka open grazing bill. Um, Kabaroke drop all your own comment on the comment section below. Thank you, and also stay tuned at Eastern News 24.